Hello, Jake Middleton here. I wanted to talk to you about how to calculate water weight, or any liquid weight for that matter. If you have a scenario such as this, where you have pipes or tubes, and uh, you route them in SolidWorks, you might come into a situation where you want to know the weight if they're filled with liquid. So you could of course go and do some fancy work where you make them solid or not, but I want to show you an alternate method. Here you can see the weight when they're hollow. It's 303 pounds. Now this is as if there's no liquid inside them. So what we can do is there's actually a pretty neat tool that's been enhanced recently in 2016 for SOLIDWORKS called Intersect. It now has the Create Internal Region option, which, as you might expect, goes and calculates the internal regions of any of the bodies you select. So we'll go ahead and select all five of these pipes and simply select Intersect. Now what it's going to do is it's going to look for internal regions that are capped off and basically filled. And it identified these five regions for us. In other words, five solid bodies. And if we zoom in, you can actually see this is the border and this is the internal region it calculates. So it's actually going and creating geometry for us um, based on the internal fill region. When you click OK, it seems like nothing happened, but it actually did. You have to go under your bodies folder. It actually created five new bodies for us based on that intersect. So we can go ahead and take all those five bodies and isolate them to see what it created. So basically it created the internal region or the volume that the liquid or water would actually fill up in each of these pipes. It's pretty neat. So what we want to do now is actually apply a material to these uh, individual bodies um, that would be the liquid and leave the rest of the materials the same. So in other words, the outer um, hose or tube could be copper or steel, but the inside, let's make it say water. You could of course program your own custom materials with your own mass properties um, if you did want to do something else like oil or some other sort of uh, viscous material. So now these are all water inside and all the bodies are shown, 1 through 10. So now when we go and we actually calculate our mass one more time, instead of 303 pounds, now we're at 330 pounds. So we see SOLIDWORKS 2016 actually makes it very easy using the intersect command to find the volume and to find the weight with filled tubes. Thanks, and I'm Jake Middleton.